Hello guys, Kirsten here with Social Navigator. Today I have a guest and we are in Chicago right now. So you want to introduce yourself? Hi, Nancy Corona, Executive Director of the National Marine Distributors Association and we are at our step purchasing event. Yeah, so I'm here because a couple of my different, a handful of my clients are here. So I've been working with them, learning about new products that are releasing this year, as well as creating content, making some short videos for LinkedIn, Facebook. So I'm here to support them. But while I was here, I ran into Nancy, yep. and we were just discussing about how beneficial this event is for the marine industry. So you want to dive in a little bit about what goes on? Sure. At so this step? This is the 28th year that we've had STEP, and this year between Tuesday morning and Thursday afternoon, we will have 983 purchasing meetings. They are all pre-scheduled. Um, we've got, I think it's about 83 vendors. They come in, they bring product. We use the living room of each of the hotel rooms as a showroom, and the meetings last for 40 minutes or any multiples of 40 that the rooms want. So it's uh, it's a way to get a lot done in a short period of time. So programs and pricing are due at the 15th of July, so they truly can go forward and this is a good way for most of them to complete their catalogs. Yeah, so it's good preparation for 2020 and we're in halfway through the year and we're ready planning for what's yep. next. Yep. I mean, midsummer now, so we're planning for next summer already, which seems crazy, but... It's retail. It, yeah, it's beneficial <laughs> as yeah. well. Yeah. So, what does STEP stand for? The initial step are sales, training, education, and purchasing. And when this event first started, the training and the purchasing were actually held at the same time, and they were held in August, and multiple times at the Denver Merchandise Mart, a couple times in Atlanta at the Merchandise Mart there. One of the things they discovered through the years, the product training was incredible, mm -hmm. but taking salesmen off the road in August was not necessarily the smartest business decision, so yeah. they moved it. We then moved purchasing to every year and training every other year, and we did that till about six years ago, and now training was until three years ago and every other year, and now going forward, we actually have a task force that just was put into place, and we will be doing, uh, we think, we're going to be doing webinar training and occasionally doing face-to-face -face training instead of a, a scheduled every other year uh, training event. So we're working on that. My task force is a couple of distributors, a couple of manufacturers, and a couple of reps. And they're going to try and help us decide what's the best way to get product training to the distributor salespeople and still allow them to sell. Yeah. So. So it's a good event. We have um, people from the marine industry from the U.S. and Canada, correct? Yes, correct. Yep. So it's a nice middle ground. We're in Chicago, so it's a nice middle ground for everyone to meet and speak about upcoming. And yes. So at this event, too, we uh, there are a lot of, as you guys all know, industries that do what they call a flat floor show. Um, Ibex is an example. Mm -hmm. And there, there is no true aftermarket accessory show anymore. NMMA had one for a couple of years. It doesn't exist anymore. So we toyed with the idea of turning this into an actual flat floor show. Mm -hmm. The advantage of not doing that is we, since everybody makes their own appointments, if you get your appointments done on Tuesday and Wednesday and you want to leave Wednesday night or Thursday morning, that's fine with us. So we've been told it's the most efficient use of time for any of our manufacturers and our distributors, our buyers. So so um, NMDA is a North American association, so we're not, we are international only in that we have Canadians as members. We don't have any European members. Mm -hmm. And part of that is because our requirements for distributor members, you have to have a self-owned inventory. Okay. And most of the, the distributors mm -hmm. in Europe are actually brokers, where they never oh. take possession of the items, they just do a pass through it, or they broker the product for the U.S. manufacturers. So it's sort of, we keep toying with, we need to be international. Well, we're going to be North American probably more than more than truly international. Mm -hmm. So, well, makes sense. Yeah, it does. It does. Well, all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Kirsten from Social Navigator here. Um, Nancy and I Thank are going to so tune much. off. And uh, check it. stay tuned for our next video.